recording? Okay. Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, Gordon and Noel from the Bristol Fire Department in Bristol, New Hampshire. We recently got one of these NRS ASR 155s. Generously uh, paid for by the taxpayers of Bristol. Shout out to them if any one of them is tuned in. Um, in getting this ready for our in-service, which it's partially in-service, we have an official in-service video uh, training in a couple weeks. We've noticed that there's not really a ton of information online about ways to modify this for quicker deployment. And then especially last evening, no real good information online about how to pack it back up when you're done. So I guess I'll start with filling the boat. It comes with uh, a pump like this. Pretty standard. Um, we struggled to inflate the boat in under 10 minutes with this device, which is not great in a rescue situation. So we've now had two evolutions um, of creating a way to fill the boat off of an SCBA. Um, we have 30 minute bottles here in Bristol. And so that's not really enough to do it. We were able to get some secondhand 60 minute bottles. We have two of these are the Survive Air. And we butchered this valve, which fits the SCBA, the universal SCBA port off of an old airbag system and this hose. And then we got a couple extra of these NSR, excuse me, NRS quarter turn valve that the boat runs off of. And so you can put that in the bottle, plug that in, and then just work the valve um, into the boat. Fills it up pretty good. But we had decided that it'd be pretty handy to use a pack frame so that you'd have both hands available. And you'll see here, again, this is a Survive Air bottle that we've painted red. We run Scott here at Bristol. So we butchered an old pack that had like the bell pass alarm, which is a little outdated. Um, we've since replaced this pack. So we took everything that runs off of the pack, the regulator, the low air alarm, the pass, we cut all that stuff right off. And we basically now just have a backpack. These Survive Airs don't have a collar, so the bungee worked pretty good. The only thing that we kept from the pack, besides the frame that runs off of the pressure, is this um, threaded port. And then we attach just a regular air chalk, air chalk line. And we ran it to just an air gun. And we have also available from NRS the same uh, valve for the, for the same fitting for the valves on the boat, but it's not threaded. So it's a little easier to run quickly. And then just a note on this, anybody that's trying to use this idea, you're welcome to it. This isn't rated, this hose is rated for 120. Obviously your pressure coming off the bottle is 4,500. That's why we've secured the trigger. So it's fine to go right into the boat, but if you weren't using the trigger and you had pressure build up in here, you'd have a failure. So just keep that in mind. That's why we've secured it. And then from it being on the bottle, like I said, you now have two hands free to carry the boat, which is about 80 pounds, um, even deflated. So this will be nifty. We're gonna rig that bottle up with another pack. So right now our standard, we're gonna time it during this video, but it's about four minutes down from 11 to fill with one bottle. And you'll see that we could probably cut that four minutes down to about three minutes if we had two people running with packs like this um, concurrently. So we're going to show you how that goes. Here's the boat. We're going to go back to packing, but you'll notice right now one end is like that and then it's end over itself a few times. And then sort of the a third and a third and that works out pretty good for us i don't know if you can tell from the looking at the pack but there's enough room in this bag with the boat packed like that that this which is not designed to fit in the bag fits in the bag so it's pretty 
pretty good. So these valves here are So these valves here, they quarter turn to deflate, and then you have to quarter turn back after it's inflated to fill it up. So just a note to set it up after you're done with it so that it's set to one way. You want me to start timing? Uh, yeah, so again, this isn't quarter thread, it just sits right in. And then what you need to do is you need to run the bottle at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll have, you want to go until these blow off. So I'm going to turn my bottle on. So you can do so again, that air came out because we hadn't set that up not to flow out. And then you heard that relief there. Let's hope these aren't all like that. So that'll just blow off until this um, tube is at 4 PSI. So it's okay that that's blowing off. It's how you know you're full. And then you'll see, obviously you can have each side being filled at the same time, but there's only one way into this middle board, which blows off at 8 PSI. Oh. Excuse me, 10 PSI. Sometimes that's how it goes. What'd you get for a time? So 3.30, even with some errors there. And with starting the timer and talking before we actually started filling the boat. So pretty happy with that for all of you folks at home that want to adapt something like what we've got on my back here. Certainly wasn't an original idea to us. It was something we heard rumors of other departments doing and we just made it work. You can see that's pretty cold comes out of there pretty fast but we think it's going to work pretty good for us 
I'll go through now the process of getting it ready to be repacked. We probably won't film the whole uh, deflating process. It's just gonna take place with a vacuum. You need to vacuum out as much air as you can. We'll show you a little bit at the beginning and then we'll get ready to show the folding and stowing in the bag. So just check this out. Again, so now you wanna quarter turn that so that air can escape. Or turn it the other way so you don't let air back in. And then you're just going to repeat that process. And then now, because I've quarter turned it back, when we go and refill it, it's all set to deploy. All right, so we're going to just show you how to refold this real quick. Again, you want to get what's essentially a third of it over. And then we're going to take, like a sleeping bag, you want to make sure you kind of put pressure on it as you're folding it up. Right? And then Noel and I are going to work together to just go end over end, making sure that we're keeping it in on itself. And then for the purposes of our video, we kept it on our footprint. Don't hold on. Come back to it. So like I said, it's backed up. And we'll show you that it fits, but when you pack it like that, you have all this extra room here to keep the pump, or if you bring a bottle up, something like that, right in the bag. And just so you believe us, And again, you could reasonably fit two of those in there or your paddles or what have you. That's it, thanks for tuning in. Um, we, like we said, we couldn't find any videos of anybody packing it up or too much information on how to speed up the filling process beyond the, the pump. So hopefully that gives you some ideas for your firehouse.